Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. At the Digital Arts Experience, our preferred video conferencing service is Google Meet. We like it because of its simplicity and it's integrated with a lot of tools that we already use. Uh, but as an adjunct college professor, I've also taught online with Zoom to large groups of students. And I will say Zoom has a number of features that I really like that Google Meet doesn't have yet. However, I did just find out that there are a number of extensions for Chrome, Edge, and Firefox that will allow you to add some additional functionality to Google Meet. So let's take a look at one of those today. So I just discovered Meet Attendance, which is an add-on for Chrome that will allow you to automatically record attendance in a Google Meet session. This is gonna be super useful if any of you out there are using Google Meet for online teaching as we do at the Digital Arts Experience, and we're definitely going to implement and use this, especially during our summer camp. Now, the one thing about this plugin is it only works for Chrome currently. There isn't um, an add-on for uh, Edge or Firefox yet, but I do think that's coming. But at any rate, all you would need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Meet Attendance. And all you would need to do is add this to Chrome. And that's this little icon up on the top right here. This is my Meet Attendance icon. Now, when you uh, set this up and install it in Chrome, you are going to need to authorize it. So it won't work right away. You'll need to open up a Google Meet session as I have here and click on the Attendance tab. And then Chrome will ask your permission to allow this add-on to do some stuff with Google Meet. Totally fine. You just need to do that in order for this to work properly. But essentially, in um, my attendance list over here, I now have a third option. Before it was just people in chat. Now I have this third little clipboard that is my attendance list. And just to show you how this works, I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to join from another browser window. Um, okay, let's take a quick look here. I'm just going to put my name as test. That's fine. So I'm going to join and... Now you'll notice I have two people in this Google Meet session. I've got myself and then the other browser named Test. Now if I click on the attendance icon up on the top here, it will actually open up a spreadsheet and show me the date and time of my Google Meet session. I'll stretch this out so we can see it. It shows me the link that I used for this session and it shows me everyone in attendance. Now the one thing to note is that uh, the attendance tracking takes a few minutes. So um, if you open up your Google Meet and have a bunch of people join and then check the attendance right away, it may not show up yet. It takes a few minutes to sync that information over to the spreadsheet. So best to check after the session just to make sure it's working and definitely test this out a little bit. Now I've just started using this yesterday, um, so I don't have much experience with it yet, um, but I will definitely do an update video, uh, let you all know how it's functioning. Um, so far it seems to work fine. It's a little quirky, but it seems to work okay. Um, but if I find out anything, I will certainly share that. And if you try this out and you have a good or bad experience, leave a comment and let me know. So that's all I've got for you today. As always, hit that subscribe button. We release new tech tips every week at noon, as well as two live stream projects every week at 10 and 2. And check out the DAE.com for our list of online workshops and private lessons. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me make, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.